before I play song number one, I want to play a top 40 extra that I got on my fantasy playlist. This song is straddling. Uh, this top 40 extra straddling the line big time between uh, commercial and experimental. There's some awesome guitar work in this record. Talking about Jack White, his new single called Lazaretto, I believe that's what it's called, and that name is taken from quarantine stations that were built for maritime travelers, and they were built or constructed between the 15th through the 19th century. As a matter of fact, I think in part of this, there's a lyric in the song where he mentions quarantine at the Isle of Man in the record. This is a highly elected record. It's not only lyrically, but musically. I, I can't, you gotta listen to the solo, guitar solo. This is straight, this is straight, late 60s, early 70s. We uh, There are shades, there are ailments, there are atomic numbers of Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Mountain, and, Black Sabbath and this guitar solo. It, it reminds me a lot of those experimental guitar stuff they used to do way back in the day. I'm talking about back in the back in the 60s and to the early 70s and to the mid 70s maybe to some extent. And uh, and then he breaks it down. He goes into this violin. He overrides this guitar track with the violin. And it's just, oh my God, this guy's he's, he's he's all over the place. This this guy this guy could play guitar in leaps and bounds. I mean, I, I don't want to put him. I don't think he's a guitar genius per se, like Jimmy Page, of Led Zeppelin. I mean, they're one of a kind. But this, but Jack White, I mean, this guy's brilliant on guitar. You gotta check this out. Um, by the way, there's one other thing I want to mention about this record. I saw this as I researched the tune. There's a seven-inch version that was recorded. It was uh, recorded, pressed, and released. All three of those things done in three hours, 55 minutes, and 21 seconds. Whoa, boy, he was working pretty fast on that. Jack White with uh, Lazaretto.